and we tough. Yeah. We bounce back from anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, coming from New Orleans, made us tough, made us strong, made us be able to deal with whatever come our way. We can we could battle battle it. But you know, the one main thing that helps more a lot and just covers us is believing in God and having faith in God. Right. You know one thing that God is undefeated. He'll never be defeated and has never been defeated, no matter what we go through. What's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> we doing good, we doing good. I'm Jasmine Yvette Slim, how are you? Huh? I'm Jasmine Yvette, I'm introducing myself to you. All right, how you doing, Jasmine? I'm Brent, Brent, I represent Lucy Browns. We are a media company based in New Orleans. Oh, man, I'm, you know, I'm proud of y'all, man. I'm proud of y'all. <laughs> Yeah, we tried, we tried, we tried, man. We was really just talking about, you know, how our families have been affected. So before we even get started, you know, everybody good on your end, your family good? Yeah, our family is good, but, you know, we had a lot of people that we knew that was, you know, like family to us that passed, like the um, Franklin family. Yeah. You know, they lost their mom and three of the brothers in one week. And, wow. and yeah. other people. So, you know, we, got, we knew a lot of people that passed. It's during this whole process. Yeah. Wow, that, that, that's crazy. And it's, it's hitting everybody, you know, and that's why yeah. this call is so important, you know, because the things that y'all are doing, you know, to the community is letting us know, you know, back home that y'all still got our back, you know, so just, so we don't even want oh, to see Yeah, yeah so let us oh, know a little bit, just so people can hear, you know. Um, we had um, repeated teamed up with the mayor, Ms. Contrell, and um, her staff, and we're doing a subsidized housing program. Well, we paying the rent for the month of June, you know, to just get them a, um, a little, um, take a little pressure off, you know what I'm saying? Give them a little relief to, um, and we just want to help, you know, more than anything, just, you know, take a little pressure off because, you know, we got to help each other. So we bless. So, you know, God work through people. So right. bless us, bless others. Yeah. So a lot of people in New Orleans, they always feel kind of left behind and forgotten. Why is this so important for you to let them know that they haven't been forgotten and they haven't been, you know, left behind? They'll never, they'll never be forgotten long as we on this planet. Um, you know, we just always know, you know, that we know, we know the struggle. We've been through it. You know, we know everything that go on and, you know, we back and forth in New Orleans and we know, you know, so we, it's always dear in our heart that we're able to do and help and, you know, and show the younger generation coming behind us that they can do the same. So somebody got to be the example. So Definitely. Really, the, the, the younger generation, you hit at home with that because it's important that they know, you know, the history because, you know, as you know, in New Orleans, a lot of the projects and everything that's going down, you know, so it kind of removed from what New Orleans really was when things were kind of on a grandiose scale. So how do you pass that history down? Say one more, repeat the question, please. So how important is it to pass the history down to the younger generation? It's important, you know what I'm saying? Because it's got to live on. You know, the more, more we all come together as people and help and, you know, and be passionate about it, it's gonna go on and on and on. The next generation, the generation after that. Just like wealth, you know what I'm saying? You wanna pass the wealth down to the next generation. The other races doesn't do it, so why can't we? Right. Right. Um, so I have this question for both of you guys. Why was it important to target the projects of New Orleans specifically? Well, that's a very good question because um, Slim and more important, Birdman called me several times um, several weeks ago and his um, his first plan was he said I need you on my behalf to buy um, the housing projects. I want to buy them all. I want to give them back to the people. I want them to pay any rent and I want them to have own home ownership. And I said to him as a lawyer, I said, well, you know, that's not um, something that's that simple to get done. So that's extremely complicated. And it's a good goal to work towards, and we're going to be talking to the city, the federal government, whoever we have to talk to, because two or three of the things that I've been a swimming baby working with them for 23 years, and especially the last 10 or 12 years, there's three things that I we talk about continuously, 
and it concerns housing, health care, and education. Absolutely. Why our turkey giveaways, we've had Oshkosh and Stack University there giving those screenings because we knew a good majority of the people never saw doctors from one Thanksgiving to the next. Right. And I'm, you know, sad as it may be, at least three or four people from every Thanksgiving turkey giveaway were taken straight to the hospital for conditions they didn't even know they had. Right. Uh, that's an incredible ratio. That didn't include the number of people who were told they must have medical care. So health care is important because if you can provide health care, you can get rid of those Conditions, which is really what COVID has really done the most damage to. Wow. Slim and Baby always felt that, you know, when people own something that's theirs, you know, they take a different pride in it. It sets up a better ecosystem for the family. Right. And if we're able to acquire that housing back and set up some type of cooperative where people can have ownership in it, we believe that's going to change things around a lot. Education is something that Slim and Baby are talking about right now. Yes. Uh, I think there'll be some announcements fairly soon on what they're going to do there because watching kids operate remotely, you say, wait a minute, they have to have Wi-Fi, they got to have really good computers, and let's think about that. How many families really have all of that? Okay. Definitely, definitely. So that's something that you know, whether they go back into the classroom or not, whatever, it's still going to be a part of their lives going forward, remote learning. So we're working now very diligently with everyone we can to come up with a really big plan to hopefully put something forward for the kids in New Orleans as far as helping them get back into school. So, you know, the healthcare portion we got to figure out, but the housing one and the education are the two that we're really, really focused on right now. And Lord Burns, mm -hmm. right, before we pass on, I just want to touch on the education. Louisiana has been, you know, 49th, 48th in education for as long as I can remember, you know, and people wonder why we can't get ahead, because even though New Orleans is different in terms of culture and identity, yeah. we're still in the deep south, so we still have to understand that there's certain resources and certain things that we got to learn. You know, my media probably I learned when I went to college, you know, in Tuskegee and came back. And I learned, I learned a lot. Music helped me to learn a lot about different cultures and, and just learn a lot, period, um, by traveling and going to different places, you know, and seeing some of the things they do in their cities. And I'm just happy that we have partners like, you know, Uptown Angela Q93, American Trail and her staff, Ashna Hospital, and y'all, <laughs> and all the other, and all the other media outlets that, you know, is really, Everybody doing their part. What we're doing right now is doing your part. You know what I'm saying? Getting that message so, out. So, so I had a, a, a question for you. Um, right now, outside of the virus, we see so many of our Black people losing their lives. And it's almost like a pandemic. It's, it's um, one of those things that hits close to home, especially here in New Orleans. Um, I just wanted to know, you have any encouraging words right now for the youth that look up to people like yourself, you know, coming up in that era, coming up in that environment um, that has that police brutality, that has that violence in the midst of, you know, where you live, where you, where you, where you wake up every day? You must be, I know you're insinuating about the thing in Minnesota. Huh? Yes. That was hard for me to watch because, you know, to just see that, and they're telling them guys that this man can't breathe. That's, that was crazy, man. That was a hard thing to watch. And, you know, man, we got we to gotta take care of us. We have to get – one thing, you know, for me is dear to me is us learning about money, financial education, and being, in de being de independent in a way that we don't have to depend on nobody. Yes. We can depend on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And financial education is one thing I really, really want to do, you know, because we don't go to school and learn about a lot of different things, but they don't teach you about fi fi money, finances, how to keep it, what to do with it, how to invest it, how to grow a business, be an entrepreneur, none of that, and you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's important to me, but for us to to do the way they're doing us, man. 
it's, it's just messed up, you know, it's, it's just real messed up. And um, we got to stick together. We got to take our dollars back. We got to stop spending money in places that we don't to spend our money. And that's the only way we're going to affect, that's the only way we're going to affect something is by taking the dollar away. Yeah. Right. Right. So I was thinking about, you know, the message you said before she asked me the question about, you know, what happened with the police brutality. You know, just getting that message out, you know, you're saying that everybody playing their role. Tell me about, or explain how important it is for us as black people to control our message and control our narrative. Because there's so many people that are take what we're doing, take a few parts out of it, you know what I'm saying, rearrange it to make it work the way they work it. How, how important is it, is it for black people to tell our own stories? Very important because <clears throat> Who out for us but us? Who gonna care about what we do but us? We gotta stick together, we gotta work together, we gotta come together as a as a, as a team and, and work together. Because if we work together, man, tell you, we 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 some of the smartest race, we the smartest race, one of the most intelligent race, and we just gotta utilize our talents and intelligence and smarts in a way that we could conquer the world, you know, we just, we got it. We just got to all work together. We got to put our egos aside. Yep. Right. Everybody. Right. Right. You know, we don't, if we don't tell the story, then it truly is not our story. It's someone else's story. Someone else's story. As, we read, as we read the media, mostly during the day, you'll find, and I'm sure you see and say, wait a minute, I would have framed that a different way. Why is it framed this way when that's not the reality? You know, um, it's an art to this. I'm not a journalist, you are, but there's an art to how you frame things. And most things are never framed the way they should be framed. Yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm really annoyed at that. So I think that we need more people telling our story um, who are part of our story so that they can frame it in the right way. And that's more important than anything else. Paint our own picture. We have to paint yeah, our this own is not slim and this is not Slim and Baby just saying, let's give some money back because, you know, we just want to give some money back because we uh, are lucky uh, and fortunate. No, this is not the way the story is framed. It's about really long term assistance to change it for the next generation. And that's the And that's how we have to frame it. So I agree with you. We got to tell our story because if not, it, it's somebody else's story. Right. For real. And, you know, <clears throat> we as people, we're strong and we tough. Yeah. And we bounce back from anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, coming from New Orleans made us tough, made us strong, made us be able to deal with whatever come our way. We can we could battle, battle it. But, you know, the one main thing that helps more a lot and just covers us is Believing in God, having faith in God. Right. You know one thing that God is undefeated. And he'll never be defeated. And has never been defeated. No matter what we go through. We know it. one thing. Right. I love it. Right. With and the we patience. We will we, we our patience. We know. The day after Katrina, if you would have looked at it, people were wondering what was gonna happen. It was the end, it was disaster, it was this. And truly it was a disaster. But look at where we are today. Definitely. We bounce back. We tough. That's why I say yeah. we tough. We, did, we, we got it. We we I, we that. I did yeah. want to. We all we that. I did want to say to both of you guys that um, as black kings and um, ones that's leading our generations, I just want to say thank you. Definitely. We need Definitely. this. We need these conversations. Right. Know that we are still here for them. And I just wanted to add this question. How important is it for your foundation right now, being in both of your parents' names, not just making a difference, but actually changing the lives of people in Orleans? What does that mean for you? So. About our parents now here to see it. We know they're looking down. And I hope they're smiling because it's something they used to do, you know, in our neighborhood. And you know what I'm saying? Just to know that we all, um, we're doing, picking up where they left off. We want somebody to pick up where we leave off at. You know what I'm saying? And, Got and chills in um, my body just now. Right. Yes. <laughs> really do. You know, so, you know, it's just a blessing and God blessed us. And 
of our angels. They're looking down, they're protecting us. So, and how long has the foundation that, been going on? And we actually set it up, um, Slim and Baby, <coughs> uh, 15, 16 years ago. Uh, right. And that's a lot of things people don't know. Like, all the press be too busy talking about, you know, different antics. Mm -hmm. We do all kinds of things. We do school giveaways, Christmas. We, I mean, you know, we try to do different things, you know. Um, you know, we do the, all kind of different things. We're in the cash now with the, the radio station with Uptown Angela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uptown. Yeah, 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 we're giving away that uh -huh. for grocers. So, yeah. you know, one thing they, the, the city ain't got to worry about, cash money coming to the rescue. Yes. With that cash money, huh? <laughs> coming to the rescue. We coming. I love it. Yeah, we there. Yeah. You know, that's all the of New Orleans, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And it's an honor, really, to have this conversation. Just want to thank y'all on behalf of Newsgrounds. Jazz has a company, Jazz TV, as well. And, you know, we just homegrown brands trying to get the message out, get the right message out. We have the tools now. So, you know, just about making it and putting it out there. And, you know, and like y'all said mm -hmm. earlier, it's, it's about us telling our stories. And I think me and Grant here are, that's all we're trying to do is tell you guys' story from us. Right. So, I'm proud of y'all, man. Proud of you. So proud of you. Great and job. Anything, man. We do, anything we can do to help you get the message out, thank we'll you. always be here for that, okay? Definitely, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. We're always yeah. open. Anytime, man. Y'all need to holler at us. I'm up in New York. I'm up in New York. I told him that. So, we definitely yeah. got to oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, she and the mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you.